Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more FIFA 22 career mode here today on the channel. We're back with Season 1, Episode 3 of my realistic slash sensible career mode as Chelsea. So, here's the Premier League table. After 15 games played, we sit on 33 points atop. There are currently three small points separating first and fourth. Watford are surprisingly in second. Ranieri has re <laughs> reinvigorated Watford as a club. Man City are in third. West Ham in fourth, doing really well. Aston Villa fifth. Arsenal sixth. Liverpool seventh. United eighth. Spurs uh, ninth. And Everton in tenth. We're going to be starting off today's video with a match against Leeds, who are potentially in the relegation zone, along with Brentford um, and Brighton and, and Norwich, which is quite crazy. All right, so Romelu Lukaku is the top goal scorer on 12 goals, followed by Pepe. But we're going to be hosting Leeds at Stamford Bridge. Always a huge rivalry between these two clubs. We'll let them play in their white historic kit, and let's host them at the bridge. We also have the January transfer window in today's video as well, so hopefully we can get a couple of new players in. And, yeah, hopefully you guys like it, because I have read through your suggestions, but... We'll go and talk about players who come in and out in the January transfer window once we're in it. Hakim Ziyech, first opportunity for the Blues. Ball into Kai Havertz, just wide of the right post. Up the other end here. Whoa, really good attempt there by Leeds. Great save by Mendy. Werner, Lukaku. Just a couple of nice one-two passes. Oh, we got caught out there. Oh, Ingula Conte picks up the ball. Havertz. Mount tackled. Keeps on going, though. It's a goal off the post. Whew. We were relentless there. We were ungiving, and that's how we got the goal. Surging forward, and Mount and Pulisic go and celebrate with the crowd. That's something spe special. Look at this. Mount barrels through one. Hits the post in. By the smallest of margins, quite lucky, Mason Mount picks up his second goal in 14 games from the midfield. Uh, Silva murked by Jack Harrison. Aspil Equator. Oh, tried to get it out. He's had a couple of spills there, Aspi. Straight to the path of Rafinha. And he goes to celebrate with Bielsa there on the touchline. It doesn't look like Bielsa. Where's his glasses? Anyway, it is currently 1-1 at the bridge. Come on, Chelsea. Conte. And we go again. Lukaku has slipped. Timo. Goal, we're back in it. Yeah, Leeds just... Really couldn't track the fiery pace of Timo Werner there. And he's popped up with another goal. How is he not Chelsea's top goal scorer, to be honest? <laughs> Who's going to end on top? Will it be Lukaku or Timo Werner as Chelsea's top goal scorer? Because both have a crazy goal scoring output. Timo. Penalty, really? A little bit controversial, that one. On first looking, I didn't think there was much in it. Let's have a look at it again. Chop. Uh, dropped him. Wasn't a handball or anything. Uh, Lukaku is going to step up and hopefully convert his first pen. So first of the career series. Heading into January. Lukaku goes to the right-hand side with the left foot. 3-1. We are absolutely spanking leads now. To be fair... The only chance they've really had was the goal I gifted to them. They haven't created overly too much. But Chelsea lead 3-1. And we are continuing on our Premier League title challenge. Good stuff. 3-1 going into halftime against Bielsa's leads. Come on, boys. Conte. Hakim Ziyech. Oh, dude, I'm loving this 3-5-2 formation. It's so good. Lee's trying to bring it out for the back. I do recommend there's three formations that I like this year. 3-5-2, five, five at the back in defense, if you're playing that formation. 4-1-2-1-2 one, one, two is really good. And 4-3-3 three, three is awesome this year. And Gula Conte, we go forward again. Just like flooding players forward. Look at this. Look how much space Pulisic has here on the left. Go on. 
It's a goal. <laughs> you don't usually score those goals against the top sides, but an overlap, overlapping brilliant run for Pulisic against a lower rated keeper. That's going to go in nine times out of ten. Dude, that just shows you, like, you go centrally. Sometimes you can break through, but if you panic, you can swing out to the wing and Pulisic scores an absolute sizzler there. He's picked up a couple goals in the last couple of weeks um, compared to Hakim Ziyech, who has yeah, had a controversial first season for me. 4-1, Riddiker bombs it out. Zirk, decent header to Kai Havertz, and hopefully he can create a counter-attack from it. Pulisic on fire in this match. Beats one, back on the inside. He might have space again on that left, and he does. No one's tracking him. Christian Pulisic with the brace. Goes all the way. Captain America, the man from Pennsylvania, makes it 5-1. Oh, is he from Philadelphia? Oh, I could have got that wrong. Where's he from? Somewhere with a P. Can't remember. Anyway, the half-Croatian... Well, he's from Croatian heritage, isn't he? Or is his grandfather from Croatia? i got no facts about Christian Pulisic. I only remember half facts about him, apparently. <laughs> Alright. 5-1. We managed to beat Leeds at the bridge. Couldn't keep the clean sheet, unfortunately. But we'll take the dub. And we've been drawn against who? Dortmund in the round of 16. Crikey. Okay, we've got a match against Everton here. Lukaku is the top goal scorer. He's going to be facing his former side here in the Prem. 3-5-2. We will play with the first team. Let's see the result. And 3-0. Lukaku, Werner and Pulisic. All people who are in pretty decent form have picked up goals. Which is awesome to see. But, uh, yeah, I did look it up. Christian Pulisic is from Pennsylvania, so I was right the first time. I shouldn't have questioned myself. Uh, we've got Wolves now. Chelsea on a superb run. The captain, Aspil Equator, speaking to the media. So, hopefully we can beat Wolves at Molyneux. 2-2 Two -two draw. Okay, I would have loved to win, but we'll take the draw there. Aspil Equator actually got a red card. So, I guess in hindsight, a draw was acceptable. We could have lost some points there. Crikey. Okay, Aston Villa now. Lukaku is still the top goal scorer. We're still leading the Prem. Aspil Equator on a yellow. So we're going to have to replace him just for this match. Um, Kovacic has come in for him. Okay. 4 0 we win, though. I don't know why the AO chose that. I guess Christensen, they didn't want to pick him for whatever reason. My assistant manager. Lukaku picks up a hat trick. Then Mount with the other. Crazy. Match against relegation fodder Brighton now. And that hat-trick rockets Lukaku to 17 goals this season. So we're hosting the Seagulls at the bridge. 2-2 Two -two draw. Okay, that was not good. Ah, damn it. That's what you get for simulating sometimes. You win some, you lose some. And in my case, I draw a lot. Pace setter. Projected 33. Could he break the Premier League record? Lukaku. Maybe, but we're still continuing. Hudson Adoy, uh, super sub Hudson Adoy saves the day. So there's December. We are now officially in the January transfer window, so we can make some signings, which is cool. We got Oldham Athletic. Okay, we have 60 million in the bank, rising to potentially 80. So quite a bit. We've got these Youth Academy lads as well we want to keep an eye on. Uh, Jules looks like all right. Thierry Cramo, he looks decent. Reggie Goodman, whether or not these players become first-team players, we have to say. What soul recalled by Atleti? That doesn't make any sense because he signed on a permanent basis. Yeah, I guess that's a bug because he's still at the club, the 27-year-old. We ended up paying his release clause of 45 and made the signing permanent. He is still at the club, yeah, and in the team. That's a bug, I guess. Thankfully, we made that deal permanent then. Okay, so at the top of Christmas, after 20 games played, we sit at top on 44 points. Man City in second by a point behind. West Ham, point behind as well in third. United managed to break into that top four. So in the semi-finals of the Carabao Cup, which we got knocked out in by Burnley, uh, Spurs played Liverpool. West Ham faced Leicester. 
So that's quite interesting. We've got Dortmund, of course, in the round of 16. We face Erling Haaland, which is frightening. Okay, so... Um, Lukaku is the top goal scorer with 23. Timo with 17. Havertz with 14. Southampton's Borja with 5. That's actually not too bad of an output by the young 20-year-old. That's cool. Okay, so now we're in January. I'm tempted to recall some of these players... Now, I didn't want to do that in the first window because it would have been unrealistic. So we're going to recall Bakayoko from AC Milan, who was loaned out by a previous regime. Instead of going for a brand new striker just yet, we really need two, if any. I'm going to recall Michi Bachawai from Besiktas. I also like this guy, Conor Gallagher, as well. He played quite well against me in the opening fixture of the league um, for Crystal Palace. And we're going to recall Billy Gilmore as well, just to give us a little bit more squad depth in that second team. And I'm also tempted to bring back this guy as well to play in the second team. Um, Armando Borja from Southampton. He's playing a pretty decent role there. Five goals in eight games. Okay, so that means I can drop um, Timo, for example, and bring in Michi Bacciawai, um and Borja. They can be the two strikers because we've been playing Hudson and Doi and a bit of a, a crazy second team. So that will give us some squad depth because there are a little bit of fixture congestion midweek and stuff, because we're getting to the part of the season where you need to focus on the Champions League, probably more so than the Prem. So I want to have a decent chance against some of the lower Premier League sides that are probably fighting um, for survival in the Premier League, realistically. So I feel like I can use Bakayoko in the second team. And Bro Bro Broja, the... Young striker, we'll bring him in as well. He could partner with Michi Bachiwai. The problem is, in my system, I have two strikers <laughs> for the first team. And then the second team, we need another two. So that's four in total, which is quite a bit. We'll put Hudson Adore on the right then. We can drop Loftus Cheek. But there's the second team. And now they've all been called back. A couple of big transfers. Gundogan has left Man City to join Atleti. Saul has come in on a permanent basis. We paid his release calls. Uh, Horta, wow. Triori's left to join Lazio. That's pretty much it. Um, just looking at the team, I like Mendy. I think I'm going to keep him. We could buy a new goalkeeper, but I think he's been quite decent. Um, Hakim Ziyech has been a little bit inconsistent. 27 games, 2 goals. I would like a better output from him. We could let him go, but then we'd have to bring someone in. I might give him to the end of the season. We might readdress that in Season 2. The major hole, I think, is our centre-back department. Thiago Silva is going down in stats, and Asper the Quaid has been inconsistent. So I feel like I need an elite defender to come in. So a lot of you guys want to go out and sign Jules Kunde. Hopefully we can get that deal done. You guys would rather see him over Teo Hernandez. Um, Max Ahrens, there was a fair few people wanting me to sign him. We'll see if we can get a deal done. Same with Lamperty or Tam Tammy Abraham. But we're going to be negotiating with Sevilla. This transfer fell through in real life. Uh, I think there was an £80 million... There was an off... Like, Chelsea launched a bid for about £50 million, wasn't it? Or 60 But Sevilla wanted upwards of 80 And the deal fell through. So, they want Reese James by the look of it. So, we'll... Launch a bid for Jules Kunde. Unfortunately, he doesn't have a game face in FIFA. It do, or he does. It just looks nothing like him. We'll launch a £54 million bid. They want 70 which is pretty much all our transfer budget. I don't know if we're going to be able to get Tamu or anyone back. 57 They want 69 Um, Let's go 64 and a half for Jules Kunde. 23 years of age. Huge potential. 84 overall. Looks like the deal's going to go through. We are on strict transfer negotiations as well, so it's realistically that they're going to try and take as much of our transfer budget as possible. So let's talk to Jules. I want him to be an important first-team player, but there he is, Jules Kunde. Yeah, so it's not quite his game face. It just doesn't look like him. Fife's Realism mod had a better model of him last year, I think. He want, They want a release cause of 120 mil. No, nah, I'm not going to accept that. We'll sign him on a five-year deal, which is awesome. Um, okay, so I actually don't know what he's on. Current wage, 131. How about 150, and then 300,000? Good. It's gone through. Jules Kunde is the first player we're going to sign in the FIFA 22 realism slash sensible Chelsea career mode. Jules Kunde, is that the club? 
heavily rumoured to be joining Chelsea last summer. The deal fell through, but now we've managed to pick him up in January. Could you imagine if Chelsea did this in January? It would be so cool. But the Frenchman has joined the Blues. Okay, so we'll try to get a deal done for Tammy Abraham and see if we can come to a, an agreement with Jose. Oh, no. Oh, that's annoying. Even in January, Tammy Abraham won't come back. Uh, what about Tamori? Oh, Tamori doesn't want to come back either. Okay, so we'll bring Tammy... Uh, sorry. We'll bring Jules Kunde into the first team for Thiago Silva. Good player, but he just doesn't have the pace anymore. I do feel a little bit exposed on that side. Because we eventually want to replace Asper Quata, Conte over the next couple of seasons. We've got heaps of adequate replacements. Um, but yeah, we will need to move on some of our aging talent. So good six months, Thiago Silva. He's just going down in stats a little bit too much for me. So we'll give Jules Kunde the number what? 15? 14? Uh, yeah, 14. We'll take it off Chalaba. Okay, so we've got a match here today. 1st of January, we're facing Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool. We beat them earlier in the season 4-3. Uh, They're in 8th place now. They're going to be wanting to fight for European football. We're in a really good position here to win the Premier League because there's that stat, isn't it, that if you're at the top by Christmas, you've got a really good chance of winning the Premier League. So we're hosting them at the bridge. Jules Kunde is going to have his debut. They've got Oxlade Chamberlain and Devok Origi in their side. So it looks like they're playing their second team, are they? Keita and Gomez in the defense. Yeah, they're not playing their best first team by the look of it. But anyway, a bit of a baptism of fire for Jules Kunde. And we'll get stuck into them here today. Hopefully, we can continue on our winning ways. The only team we've lost to for in what I would consider the top six was United. Hopefully, we can beat Liverpool again. Jota on the ball. Angulo Conte comes out to collect. Jota burns him. Come on, Conte. Contain, contain. Good tackle in the end. And now we have a chance to go. Oh, good interception. Now we've been caught out here. Cool, calm and collected. Fabinho smashes it past. Mendy. Oh, do we need a goalkeeper? I don't know, guys. Mendy's been really good this season. But shots like that against elite clubs just tend to go in. And he's second of the season as well. Throw in by the Blues. And we'll try and go again and build something up. Hakim Ziyech on the inside. To Mount. To Werner. A lot of people making runs, but I just didn't want to go over the top. We'll play it on the inside. Havertz. To Lukaku. Goal! Against Allison. A top-notch goal by Romelu Lukaku. Don't backflip into the hoarding! <laughs> he put his legs through the plasma TV. Oh, my God. Yeah, because they're like, they're like um, LED like TV hoardings, aren't they, essentially? It's 1-1. One, one. Lukaku, with a mental celebration, draws the points. Come on, Chelsea. We've got to be doing better than that. Devok Origi, 2. Wow. Thiago, with a crazy long shot attempt there. Jota to play it close to Mo Salah. Ball in. Good grab, Mendy. Let's try and bring it out from the back. A terrible throw. Poor distribution. Might cost us here. Another good save by Mendy. Good grab. I like him a lot. He's better than De Gea, I think. Mount to Werner. Push, push on Werner. Ah. Liverpool. Uh, parking the bus a little bit. Now they're going to go for it now. Of course. Come on, guys. Win that back. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Jota. Oh, my God. That went in. How, man? In the 95th minute. That must be a record, man. Three minutes of extra time added. They get another two more. And Jota picks up a goal. You should have closed him down. That's an absolute inch-perfect wonder goal there by Jota. Mendy 
Oh, couldn't get to it. Four and seventeen. We lose in the death to Liverpool. Oh, Jules Kunde on his debut picks up a loss. Two really good goals by Liverpool there. A little bit robbed, I think. We deserved more from that match. Real Madrid launch a £10 million bid. I'm tempted to accept that because his game time has been halved with Jules Kunde, but I'm going to reject it. I want to keep him for this season. And then we've got a match to finish the episode off against Oldham Athletic in the FA Cup. So we'll simulate this one, and hopefully we don't get knocked out of the FA Cup. <laughs> we lost to Burnley early on, and... Oh, no, nah, 2 nil we won. I'll take that. Uh, Mounts picks up the goal. And we win 2-0. All right. Well, unfortunately, it's time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Episode 3 of my FIFA 22 Chelsea Realistic Career Mode. Hope you've enjoyed it. I've had an absolute blast. We've signed Jules Kunde. I don't think we're going to do any more transfers in the January transfer window, but let me know in the comments. Should we bring in a better goalkeeper? Should we maybe bring in another centre-back? I really wanted to re-sign uh, re Tammy Abraham and maybe Tamori, but... Yeah, I don't think those deals are going to go through until, like, Season 2, potentially. But let me know feedback and suggestions, of course. I've got to say thank you to this month's patrons and channel members, and I'm going to play the outro now. Thanks, guys. Unfortunately, it's time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Check out my social media links in the description below if you'd like to stay connected with me. Got to say a huge thank you to my patrons and channel members. Victor K, Sebastian C, Jordan K, Caesar L, Brian S, Tal, Liam B, Kyle P, Tom C, and Wyatt P. But thanks, guys. My name has been Simsy. Much love from Australia. Goodbye.